All right, and I, I just got this information about our the visit of our lawyer, AG, AG, AG of four. They went to see our leader. So let me read the meeting. Um, it says, just in update on our routine visit to Mazin Nam de Kano at the headquarters of the DSS. This is written by our lawyer, Ifan Ejiofo. He says, our routine visit to our indefatigable client, Onyendo Mazin Nam de Kano, was indeed a special one. The visit which was exclusively conducted by my humble self alone, offered us a veritable opportunity to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk without any form of distraction or intrusion from a third party. The conviviality, the conviviality was indeed deep. Onyendo Maze Namdekano, I must sincerely confess, was in a very strong spirit yesterday. Our interactions were quite frank and positively heartwarming. We extensively discussed on proactive steps being explored by our legal team to ensure his unconditional release. His worries on those deliberately deviating from his divine preachings were highlighted and well noted. Onyendo was also briefed on relevant legal remedies being resorted to command immediate and total obedience to court pronouncements, particularly where the directive of the court is ostensibly available in the prevailing circumstance. We have compiled with all Oh, sorry, we have complied with all steps directed by the court in the likely event that the lawless DSS breach its orders. We have not delved into the details now, but be assured that the detaining authority is fully aware of these steps and obviously being cautious, circumspect of their actions and in actions henceforth. Onyendo Mazenam the Kano was deeply impressed with the peaceful conduct and the unrelentless solidarity of his real followers. Ezibo Umuchineke. He employed them to continue to remain steadfast, peaceful, focused, and never to be distracted. Onyendo Mazenam the Kano is visibly firm in his convictions and only worried over those predicted long ago that would disappoint him and not the other way around. Onyendoma Zenam Dekano present incarceration in the lawless DSS dungeon offered him the opportunity to identify the chief discreetly mixed with wit long before now. It is an interesting lesson that is preparing him for the greater task ahead. He is fully aware that his freedom is near and will happen like a miracle. On our part, we have crossed all the T's and dots all the time. Onyendu, Onyendu's best compliments remains with his true and ardent followers. I struggled to conduct this visit yesterday even when my medical situation said otherwise. But I shall always be there for Onyendu no matter the circumstances I find myself. Your prayers are truly impacting and I am doing better this morning. I shall keep you informed of developments as they unfold. Thank you all Umuchineke and remain richly blessed. This is signed by Ifani Ejiofo Esquire, lead counsel to Onyendu Maze Namde Kano. IPOB, this was uh, done on, um, what date was that? 14th of December 2021, just today. 
that's the news and uh, I hope we'll all take that as a very good news for us few information to give out this morning but let me start with this one this is a very important one i want you to take your pen and your paper and write these numbers down these are direct lines where you can call the dos and talk to them tell them whatever you want to talk it's an inquiry line yeah it will pay us much better to talk to them directly than going about gossiping and saying things that are not important all right the number here is uh, plus Six one four three four two nine four seven four five. Let me repeat. The number is plus six one four three four two nine four seven four five. Write it down. Get your pen and your paper. The second one is plus one two. Four eight nine four nine four eight four three. I repeat second line plus one two four eight nine four nine four eight four three. These are the inquiry lines for the DOS. Anytime you feel like <clears throat> like talking. Call them. Why? Anything you find out. If you call and you're not answered directly, please wait. Call because there are so many. It's just like calling the radio. You know how easy it is to get to the radio anytime you want to talk. That includes me too because sometimes I try to call some program, but my dear brother, it's not easy at all. So what we do is we have given you the number. When you call, if you have anything bothering you that you want to discuss, call them. If you call and they don't answer you right away, it does not mean that they're ignoring you. No. It's so busy out there and there are so many people that want to call. 